everyone! Happy Thursday! I had to think for a minute there. <laughs> well, of course, I'm going to have peanut butter and jelly toast this morning with that homemade bread. Oh, you betcha. I am so sorry. I forgot to put it in the description, but I went and put it in. So if you go back to the, yesterday's video and look in the description, you'll see the white bread recipe. Okay? <laughs> So sorry. Sometimes I forget things when I get busy uh, editing at the end of the night. I'm like, okay, what else do I have to do? And I forget. So let's make some peanut butter and jelly toast with our homemade bread. Okay, here's my toast. Zan loves my homemade bread. He's going to get a piece today too. Let's go eat. We got lots of things to do today, you guys. And lots and lots and lots and lots of cooking. Lots of cooking today, you guys. Zooey! Mommy got fresh bread for you. You love Mama's bread. He love Mama's fresh bread. Yes, he does. Okay, guys. I'm going to run to Dollar Rama. I've got my mask, my gloves, my hand sanitizer, and I'm just going to do it. I'm tired of being stuck in fear. Yeah, I'm going to do it. And uh, I'll show you what I get when we get home. Let's go to town, you guys. Dollar Tree. It was not as bad as I thought. Heck, it was pretty good. Uh, yeah. I didn't mind. I didn't. I, my anxiety was worth going in, but now it's it's really a lot better. That wasn't bad at all, you guys. Let's go home and start cooking. Okay, I did some damage at the at the dollar store. I was going to do a throw haul as I wiped things down, but Bruce already wiped all this stuff down, down with Lysol. And uh, I'll show you in the house. It's a little cold out here, you guys. He came already. I was watching so I could film and I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was off my ball today. <laughs> Okay guys, if you live around here and want to know where we got our soil, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, just ask in the comments. Same day delivery. That is amazing. Yeah. We've ordered soil before and it took like a week. Yeah. So, if you want to know if you live around here, we'll let you know the name of the place. Okay, I gotta get my cooking on. Yeah, let's get cooking, you guys. This Chinese food. Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotta make my banana bread, too. I got my bananas out of the freezer. <laughs> okay, if you know me, you know for chicken, Chinese chicken, I always cheat and I use popcorn chicken for the base, but I'm gonna make my own sauce. And today it's going to be honey, honey chicken. Yeah, honey sauce chicken. And I will show you how to do this. It's three ingredients. It's easy. And you'll uh, be surprised how easy it is. Yeah. I have this pan and it has bacon grease on it. So I'm going to use it cook my popcorn chicken in. I want to make sure I have enough for tomorrow too. Two meals out of this. Two days eaten. Okay, so for this honey chicken, you're going to need one cup of honey, 
This is the honey we got. Remember, we went and got it at a local around here. Yeah. This is local honey. Now I'm doubling this. It's it. I'm doubling this because I I like more sauce. I don't know if you like me, but I like more sauce. You don't have to double it. You could cut everything in half. I'll leave the rest. I'll leave the uh, ingredients below. Okay. If I remember, I always forget. But you guys remind me if I don't, I will do it. Okay, you need uh, four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This is a two spooner, so I'm going to do it twice. And four tablespoons of soy sauce. That's it. We're going to mix this up. Uh, you need uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water. And uh, that'll thicken up the sauce when we get it in the wok. Okay. Um, and then you're going to need garlic and ginger. But I don't have any ginger, so we're going without eeks. I didn't realize I was out of my ginger. So we're going to give this a good mix. And then we'll get it going in the wok once the chicken's cooked in the oven. Okay guys, I have some uh, stir fry meat I had in the, freeze, in the freezer. You can get this local at your, uh, your meat store. Go to a meat store, don't go to a grocery store. And they'll uh, cut it, even cut it for you. But if you do, you, you can also buy a steak and cut it slit, cut it with an electric knife. You can get it that thin. Okay, so what you need is some stir-fry meat. Okay, if you have white pepper, please use it. I can't... I thought I had that and I can't find it. I'm going to use regular pepper. And some garlic, granulated garlic. Looks fine. Okay. Okay, two tablespoons of cornstarch. This is two. Uh, two tablespoons of water. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. This will also be down in the uh, in the description to the recipe. One tablespoon of oil. Okay, I'm just gonna guess here a little bit. Okay, we're just going to mix that up, let it sit and marinate. Okay, I only use jasmine rice and I uh, wash it. Then I put it in the pan and with uh, olive oil and I dry it out a bit like this. And then I add, so this is two cups of rice, so I'm going to add three cups. One cup of chick I uh, have beef broth, so I'm going to use that, and then one cup of water. That's how I make my jasmine rice. Let it boil for about eight minutes, turn it off, let it sit. Okay, we are going to do our chicken. And I got my wok. Need about a tablespoon of oil. I use peanut oil when I'm cooking for Chinese, anyways. Mm hmm. Okay, add your garlic. Okay. The only thing I don't like about this wok, it moves around. 
goodness, I wish I had gas. Okay, you're going to add your sauce. I'm going to get all that sauce in there. Okay, um, two tablespoons of water. Or four. I can't remember. I doubled it, right? Um, the cornstarch. Mix that up. And I, I reuse dishes. I don't dirty a lot of dishes because I reuse them. <laughs> okay. Now you can do this in a frying pan if you don't have a wok. I used a frying pan for many years. Now I'm going to put my cornstarch mixture into the sauce and let it start thickening it up. Once it starts thickening up, I'm going to add the chicken. And that's it, you guys. That's it. Okay, I'm going to add the chicken now. Once it starts thickening up, I'll put it back into this pan. And that'll be our honey chicken. Don't worry, it'll thicken up. I can feel it already. Okay, we're going to make Chinese beef orange chicken now. I have two oranges here and I um, also... I, I juiced them and I sh shredded the um, the peel. You're going to add one tablespoon of sugar in there. Mix that up and you're going to heat this up into your wok for a minute. And then you're going to um, put it back in your bowl. So let's get this heated up for a minute. Okay, after you let it go for about a minute, we're going to remove it and put it back in the bowl. Okay, we're going to add oil, about a tablespoon of oil. We're going to add our marinated beef that we have marinating. We're just going to cook this until it gets a little bit of a color on it. Once it starts to turn a little color. I added a little more oil. I personally like to go until I know my meat's cooked. So I'll keep that going for a few more minutes. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm going to remove the, the beef. Put some more oil. Now, you need ginger too, but I don't have ginger, so I'm just going to go with the garlic. Put your garlic in there. Saute that for just a couple of seconds. You would be doing your ginger too if you had it. If you're like me and don't have it, then you can leave it out. Don't overdo your garlic because you don't want it burning. I'm going to put the steak, the chicken back, or steak, chicken. The meat back in, the beef back in. Okay. I hope you guys are seeing this okay. Okay. 
Gonna add the juice. cornstarch. Actually, first I'm going to add the sh brown sugar and the soy sauce. Okay. cornstarch and water mixture I made. I don't think I'll need it all. Okay, we're going to let that thicken up. Okay, that's nice and thickened up. I'm going to add that to my Chinese container. And then we'll add the green onions on top. Okay, for my chicken and beef, I'm just going to add the green onions to both. More of the beef. Just want them on top. You want more of the green, but and then the chicken, and then let me fix it all up nice here, and I'll uh, display it, and we'll fix our plates, guys. Pretty simple, easy Chinese cooking. Okay, Chinese cooking by my shell. Rice, spring rolls, honey chicken, and orange beef. It'll get us through until we can get some Chinese food. <laughs> Let's eat, guys. We'll show you our plates when we get them plated. There's my plate, you guys. Bruce will show you his when he gets it done. Let's go have some Chinese food. This is my dinner. I'm hungry today. I hope you like it. I know I will. Okay, guys. Before we say goodnight, we're bringing you guys on a walk. Right, hun? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Older. Let's go. Let's get out <laughs> before it starts to snow. So let's go, guys. Let's go see the lake before we say goodnight. Look at the bunny. Sandy didn't even see it. Nope. Must be sitting on a nest. everyone we'll see you tomorrow <laughs> thanks for joining us guys <laughs>